that uh, something happened in Denver uh, last Sunday that was quite interesting, and I thought I'd tell you about it. I wasn't there, but I got a cellular phone call from Vandermeer Drag Strip, which is the big strip in Denver. It seems that the Mopar people had invited some AMC people to be a part of their Western Regional Meet. They had in excess of 500 and some cars. They had over 2,000 people at Vandermeer. Uh, the interesting thing was there were only five AMC cars that wanted to go with the Mopar people and race. That was the race portion of it. So the five AMC cars took on 120 some Mopars. And starting at about nine in the morning, I got reports that the Mopars were falling and some AMC fell, but some didn't. Now the worst case scenario you could have if this is your western if this is your western regional for Mopar, worst case scenario is to have the final run of one AMC car against the Mopar car. That would be the worst case scenario. Well, I'm sorry, it didn't happen that way. In the final race, there were two AMC cars. Two, 19, two 1970 AMXs mowed down all Mopar takers and wound up in front of 2,000 Mopar people in the stands who watched two 70 AMXs run for top award. It's going to be real interesting to see what happens next year if they uh, if they invite the AMC crowd back because the stands had, the stands were emptying out as a, as the two AMC cars uh, were lining up the stands were emptying out and you know out of a couple thousand people there are going to be some people that are seriously upset about that having gotten beat by us. <laughs> The other thing is, while the girls are still out there, um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Tony Zamish, Jim Wyan from Denver, Tony from San Diego, uh, members of uh, AMC World Clubs, and Dan Brewerton and his dad. Use the battery. Anyway. Uh, they decided to go out to the May Silver State Race. Uh, for those of you who are members of AMC World Club, you read about it in our publication for the last nine years. Well, an extraordinary thing happened. Uh, Dan Brewerton and a 343 AMX ran a 127, this is an average, over 90 miles of open two-lane highway, Highway 318 in Nevada. Legally blocked off, of course, by the state of Nevada. Jim Wyan in the 69 AMX ran a 137 average for the 90 miles, and for those of you who haven't heard, it will be the major in-depth story will be in our uh, my AMC World Club publication, which will be printed by the time I get back to Denver and ready to ship it on out to everybody. And I've made some extra copies for some of those who might want it historically, and, the, and I'm, I'm making it available for three dollars. You don't have to be a member, and the reason why I'm doing it is not a come on. I want, I made a special issue that you can throw up in the face of some of the people that you work with that hit on us AMC people and tell us our cars are from an old dead company and they're not fast or anything anymore because Tony Zamish was caught on radar in 1970, Mark Donahue Javelin, on that two-lane highway, and I get goosebumps when I tell you, 192 miles an hour. He was second out of 103 cars entered, only a, a very highly modified 1987 Corvette ran faster, and that was Kelly Sievers who ran, who, let's see, Kelly ran a 187, but that Donahue Javelin, you're talking where it's made some fame and fortune for us AMC people and shows that in that type of an event, we're not dead, and you should have seen the accolades that the people gave us AMC people at the banquet in Las Vegas and came up and said, my God, I never thought that your Ramblers would run that fast, and they did. 